Hello, Midnight Willow here, and I'm back at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking more about Midnight Willow and why her fur looks like the way it is. We'll also be talking about my new school and more extra stuff, including what I'm going to be doing in this new school. To start off the video, I'm just going to say <coughs> I am probably trying to start commissions. I will draw people's OC, but they have to follow my Discord account, which is Midnight Willow hashtag 1777. The M and W are capital, capital, so I would suggest that. When I first made Midnight Willow, I noticed that she had white spots on her fur whenever I first make, made her. I wanted to make her galaxy-like, but I didn't want to stray too far away from the Warrior Cat fandom. So, therefore, I just made it where she had white speckles on her fur to memorize as the, well, stars in the sky. The black fur is supposed to be mostly, well, the black sky with the stars and the white. I have no clue what the white was for, to be honest. I mostly just wanted to go for a galaxy-like theme, but didn't want to stray away from the fandom. Warrior Cat fandom. I honestly wanted to keep her purple eyes, but I realized that they weren't really exactly warrior cat-like, though I didn't really care. So I decided to add them anyways and made them like a condition she was born with. It's rare that you could ever see a cat born with pale purple eyes. My OC is actually ha actually has brighter purple eyes, signaling it's not a real cat. Even though this is a fandom, nothing is real about it, except for cats. When I get into my new school, I'm going to be reading more Warrior Cat books. Because of the lack of school and the lack of being in, well, younger grades, I haven't been able to read that much Warrior Cat books. But starting whenever I get into school, I hope I can get my hands on some Warrior Cat books. If I'm lucky enough, that is. You see, Warrior Cats basically made me come up with my adventurous side and my action side. I'm always adventurous and ready for action. Not all the time, though. Well, except for sometimes. I am very excited to say that once I get into this school, I might be in the grade with my friend who is very supportive. She also has not read a lot of Warrior Cat books lately. Technically, she hasn't read any, so maybe I can get her into Warrior Cat books too. I'm also working on some fan art for Roxy and Ginger Snaps. Even though I already did one for Ginger Snaps, I got another idea for her too, or him. For Ginger Snaps' other art gift that I'm giving her, I'm going to be making my OC and their OC in the same picture, given they both have the galaxy-like theme. Ginger Snaps has the galaxy tail, and my character has the midnight black and the white stars. I wanted to give it a try since I've never done two cats in one picture. Well, actually, I didn't do two characters that weren't mine in one picture. I did do a Jay Feather in a squirrel flight picture, but Jay Feather was a kit and it was very easy to draw. But I want to try something new with these two people. Well, OCs. Ugh. As you can tell, I actually really, really like Ginger Snap's character design. It's really interesting. I honestly don't know if they're also into the warrior cat stuff, but I hope they are because I'm going to be drawing something really interesting for my character and her character, well, his character, I don't know, for them and me. Mostly for fun, I really like doing this stuff. For Roxy, I'm going to draw something a little bit different that I've never done before, especially since their character kind of looks like a fox wolf. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, but I'll try my best to get this design done. Did you like the video? Please comment, subscribe, and like. This is the ref of my OC if you want to see it. Thank you for watching. Bye!